Alright gamers, my homie kindly lent me his account so I could finally try out the god roll of Ross Argo, and boys, it is so good, especially when put into the Gur Falcon's Void Hunter build. Now before I do get into the video, I am planning on creating a video series of exotics you would like me to make builds out of, so leave a comment of any exotics you want me to pair together and make a build out of. The comment with the most likes will be the one I'll pick to make that build from. So, Ross Argo is a brand new world drop void 600 RPM auto rifle added this season, and it has some nasty rolls. But the one in particular we are looking at today is Repulsor Brace plus Onslaught Burt Combo. Onslaught is a returning perk that used to be available on the old Breakneck Pinnacle all the way back in Black Armory, and what it does is ramp up the fire rate and reload speed of your weapon up to three times, and unlike its previous version, it no longer decreases the damage as the fire rate increases, which makes this thing nuts. Argo can go from a 600 RPM auto rifle up to a 900 RPM auto, basically making it a 900 RPM SMG with 600 RPM auto damage and range. Now, putting this into the Gur Falcon's Void Hunter build, which uses the Aspect Stylus Executioner and Vanishing Step to allow you to spam invis to take advantage of Gur Falcon's exotic perk, which grants volatile rounds on exiting invis. This will allow you to apply the Void debuff to targets needed to make Repulsor Brace work, granting yourself a small overshield that is very nice for harder content. Now add in the Fragment's Echo of Undermining for a 15% debuff from your grenades, Echo of Obscurity, so finishers can grant invis as well. Echo of Cessation, so finishers can cause bursts that apply volatile to enemies, and also create a void breach on defeating volatile targets, which will really help getting your class ability back faster. And then lastly, Echo of Starvation to grant Devour on pickup of Orb, or a void breach to build into some broken survivability that you can use alongside Repulsor Brace. The super used can really be situational, deadfall is better for boss fights, and quiver can be more helpful in quickly killing larger health enemies or big groups fast, and also if you're solo it's nice just for that chunk of damage. Now the grenade I recommend is a vortex for max uptime on debuff. I'll leave the mods on screen as well so you guys can kind of see what I'm using. The focus for the mods is to build into buffing your weapon damage, while also trying to get your grenade or melee back often to apply an easy debuff to enemies. This auto is no lie my most sought after weapon in probably years. I'm a big enjoyer of Void Hunter's playstyle and this is the perfect weapon to fit right into the build, providing great damage, fire rate, healing, and a better range than any of the SMG options. So if you get this roll, do not delete it, you will regret it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and make sure to leave a comment of what exotics you'd like to see me pair into a build. See you in the next one. Peace.